In this video, we're going to walk through calculation groups in Power BI. What are they? How they can help you? How they can make you more efficient in your development? Calculation groups will allow you in Power BI to define a measure once that you can use then to analyse other measures, save you having to constantly duplicate measures to analyse profit, revenue, cost. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Hayden from Connect TV. Thanks for tuning back in. So in this video, I want to show you a really cool trick using a piece of software called Tabular Editor that can help you streamline your DAX development. In the previous video, we started to build up a financial year to date, month to date, quarter to date, etc. All the cumulative time intelligence functions that were available to us. Now, those are all based around revenue, but I also want those for my profit, for my cost, for my plan cost. And, and I don't want to have to repeat and rebuild all of these every time. So using this really cool trick, there's a piece of software. You can get it from here. I'll put the link in the comments, Tabular Editor. Download and install that in your Power BI. On your external tools tab here, we can select Tabular Editor. And within Tabular Editor, we can create calculation groups. So we can build up a standard measure that will look at other measures. So you can input total revenue into this standard measure, total profit into this standard measure, and it will calculate that, and we'll show you that, how to do that here. So using Tabular Editor, I've just launched it, uh, and, and launching it from Power BI, it automatic, automatically connects to your data model, so you don't have to go through any connections. Right, to get started in here, uh, in my tables, I want to create a new, so if you right click, create new calculation group. So I'm gonna call this my time intelligence, Time. Without caps lock. Okay, time intelligence there. So this will, once I save this, this will any work that I do in Tabular Editor will be pushed back into the data model. So you can do a lot of DAX work in here. It's, it's a really great tool for that. So first thing I want to do is jump in there. I want to recreate this financial year to date measure. So I'm going to copy and paste this. Now you don't copy anything before the equal sign or the name. It's just purely the calculation that we're looking for. So I'm going to put that on my clipboard, Control C. I'm going to create a new calculation item, and this one is going to be financial year to date. And I'm going to paste that into here with Control V. Right, so as this function, it's still looking at my total revenue measure. And there's a really neat function called selected measure. There's open and close brackets. So what this is telling the, um, the DAX code to do is when I'm using a, another measure or a selected measure in my visualization, it will actually calculate against that measure. So I could drop in the total revenue, total profit, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so I'm going to hit the tick button. That works. There's a, a really great thing here as well. You've got your DAX formatter. So if you just hit that as standard, it generates it in a line. If you hit short line, it builds it up into a nice, easy to read structure. Okay. You can also change your format. So I want this to be pound, euro. There you go. So that's that's how you set the format of your, your calculation measure. So we're just going to speed up a minute while I, I add in all of the other measures into my uh, model here. Okay. So as you can see, I've now got several calculated items in here. I've got my financial year to date, month to date, quarter to date, year to date, year on year analysis. And they're all using this selected measure. So how we apply this into the Power BI data model is by simply file and save. When we go back to our data model, one or more calculation groups need to be manually refreshed. So hit refresh now. And we'll have a new time intelligence table dropping at the bottom. There we go. So that's the table that we've just created. That's the calculation group. Now I'm going to show you how we can use that. So I'm going to create a matrix. Make this bigger. And in my time, I'm going to include the year and the quarter. I'm 
also going to now add in my revenue. So I'll bring up my financial measures, total revenue. Okay, so I've got my total revenue there. Now, if I was to bring in my financial year-to-date revenue column here, that's how I would have done it in the past. Oh, I don't need that. We simply go now to our, our calculated group, our calculation group, and drag that into your columns here. And as you can see, that's created financial year to date, month to date, quarter to date, year on year, year to date. And that's automatically calculated. Now I can change the measure that how this is looking. I can remove total revenue and I can add in total profit. And there we go. We've started to, we've now got a standard calculation that you can apply to any of your base measures uh, to automate and streamline how you develop your code. Well, I guess we do need to add in here is we can't see the actual profit. So let's just jump back in here. So new calculation item. We'll just call this current measure. Uh, we can just do um, selected item. Selected measure, sorry. Click it. Hit save. Save it back to the model. Refresh now. And we have the current measure there. So that's the um, that's the total profit that we're looking at. Total profit. And that's how easy you can use the calculation groups to standardize your, your measures. Now, another uh, a neat little trick, if we just add a slicer in here, so you might not want to see all of these on your, on your measure. I'm just going to add in a new slicer. Bring in the new column from the time intelligence. And as you can see now, I can, if I just allow this to multi-select, I can choose whether I want my just the current or financial year to date, month to date, quarter year to date, or actually year to date and year on year analysis. There you go. And using calculation groups, that's how easy it is to simplify your measures. So that's it. If you like this video, please hit, give it a big thumbs up. Please hit the like button and please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And uh, I'll see you next time.